Good day fellow noobs. Today we're going to learn what you can do if you want to get columns based off an Excel table. Uh, so one use for this is if say your data source has a long list of columns and you only really want to get a certain set of columns or let's say if your data source has a different ordering of columns and so if you want to set a table where Power Query can get the list of columns that you want to be selected. Now to illustrate this, so we'll make an Excel table first. So let's type here, let's say headers. Um, so I prepared a data set for this, but to illustrate this example, uh, say I only want to get the date and uh, class and uh, type and location location okay so I'm gonna make this my reference table so I'm gonna turn this into a table so so let's change this to headers table okay so alright so let's pull this into power query so I'm gonna get data from table and range okay let's have that in so it's this okay so we have our table here now the trick here is that we have to drill down so I'm gonna drill down and I'm going to rename this to my headers list and this one I'm going to load as a connection only connection okay now the next part is actually pulling in our data source so I'm going to get the file from our workbook is going to be let's say on data1 and uh, okay so let's select sheet one and I'm gonna click on transform data alright so we are on the worksheet here so we look on the applied steps so I'm gonna remove the change type and just before the promoted header so normally what we would do is we would choose columns or at this star at this stage you would select what you would want so let's say date type cost location ID now and if we load this directly so let's close and load this uh, to the existing worksheet now I'm gonna load this here okay okay so we have the data loaded here now if we want to load another data source and we want to retain the column headers it's gonna be fine however if you want some flexibility on what the headers you want to pull in um, so this is where you would need the reference table here and in this example we're gonna change the the we're gonna change a, a part of the M code here now specifically on the table select columns here so I'm gonna show this so remember this was the header list that we made now going to sheet one and if we this part of the code on the table select we're gonna change this and put in the headers list okay all right so I'm, I'm gonna close and load this okay so I mean anything that we put in here that's gonna be what's loaded in here uh, for example let's put in subject subject if I refresh this subject is gonna be pulled in if we put in uh, what else can we put in ID okay. if we 
you refresh again, ID is going to be put in. Now, if let's say you no longer need the class and the type, so I'm just we're, I'm just going to remove these rows, and if I want to refresh this again, it works. So the so what we did was we the selection of the column we based this off on this Excel table, and that's it. I uh, hope you find this useful. If you have any questions, uh, type it in below. Thank you and good night.